So I thought I'd do a video tutorial on the hard surface brushes that I use to create this character here, which is a little samurai guy. Um, it's textured in Substance Painter, but totally sculpted in ZBrush. The mask itself was done using uh, these polished brushes, but some of the other details, such as the helmet, is done using uh, Z Modeler brush. So I'm just going to cover the creation of the mask for this. So as you can see here it is here this is the final result but where we actually started off i'll just turn off the teeth and eyes where we actually started off from the, this is this point here which is really rough and ready uh, hopefully you'll agree it's a fairly simple model that anybody can make uh, and there's, there's not much not much to it it's basically just a bit of a mess so from here if you do end up making something like this um, i wanted to show you that uh, you can get to this result really really quickly uh, using these brushes. So the ones that we're going to use today are the H polish primarily uh, the, the move brush the clay build-up and the dam standard and Possibly the pinch so for each of these you need to load them into your interface at least once in order to be able to uh, Assign hotkeys to them. So for example if you press B H to filter it down to, to brushes starting with H and then P you load the H polish brush Once you've done that once it will now appear inside your brush menu so if you go to your preferences and turn on enable customize you can now go back to your brush menu and using control and alt drag that hedge polish brush onto your interface somewhere i've already done it down here so once you've done that with those brushes load each of them in turn so b s t for dam standard b c b for clay builder brush b m w for uh, the move brush sorry b m v rather for the move brush uh, and uh, trim dynamic let's do that one as well so btd and h polish bhp once you've loaded them put them all onto your interface turn off enable customize and store config um, now we can start assigning shortcut keys to them by holding down control and alt and clicking on them once and you'll see that a message will appear up here in the left hand corner asking you now to define a shortcut key for that so once you've done that the very next thing you do before you even move the mouse or your pointer you'll see if i move it that will go away so the very next thing you do is you hit alt d for that one um, and go, run through them all i put alt h and um, alt t alt w for move alt c for clay build up um, alt p for pinch and alt d for damn standard so to start off we'll start off with the h polish that's alt h uh, and from here grab a large brush and just start polishing and you'll see that it'll immediately just start creating this kind of nice flat surface which is kind of cool so we can kind of define some some of our main forms here our main areas that we know we're going to want fairly flat our main planes so I'm just going to click on these in turn and polish them and see if, if you start off in the middle here you're going to get a flat plane um, but what we're actually looking for on this is for this to have a little bit of a, uh, a point where it meets so I'm just going to put this up on the interface press Shift S to drop a copy onto the interface. We'll swap back to the guy that we're working on. And we have that now as reference. So, as I said, if you start off in the middle here, it's going to flatten that plane using the H polish brush from there and work its way out. That's not what we want to do. We want to come in at an angle. So we get this, this nice sharp line here. So if we start off somewhere like this, as we get closer, it's going to naturally create an angle. And the H polish brush respects angles and tries to keep them where possible. So once we've done that, then we'll get this shape. And we can polish the top down a little bit. If you're shy a little bit, you're not getting enough um, of this stuff up here, you can just change to a clay builder brush, add some extra polish or, or some extra um, volume on there, and then go back to your H polish brush. And because you've started on this plane here, as you go across to this, it will kind of polish it to that. And the same for down here. So that'll give you that sharper detail in that area. So the H polish brush works uh, with um, the alt button held down as well, which will give you uh, the option to take concave place uh, concave meshes and make them convex. This is a really important part of this functionality here. So we're going to need to use that a fair bit. I'm going to just uh, demonstrate that down here, for example. So if I, for his lips, um, we want this flat area underneath. So I'm going to hold this sculpt that down and just polish 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 with the edge polish and come around the corner here polish that as well 
Now when we want to, follow, to polish this bit down here, I can polish this down and as it comes up to the edge here, you'll see that it respects that edge and maintains that edge, sharpens that edge in fact. And as I come up to this other one, you'll see that sometimes it'll actually start interfering with this other edge up here. Um, so as I come up to this, you'll see I'm, I'm trying to flatten this, but it's now bending this down inside it. So this is where we want to use the inverse functionality where we hold down Alt and it will pull up towards an edge. So if I'm on this surface and I hold down Alt, it's now pulling that up. So because it's pulling it up, and I can then push it back down again. I can pull this surface up. We're now getting a tighter surface between these two. So I can pull this up. I actually had a hole in this mesh, so I'm going to pull this up, flatten it out again. I'm going to re mesh this just because um, I'd like to clean that up a little bit. And you'll see that now when I polish this here, I can flatten, I can keep that flat. If I hold down Alt, I'm, I'm bringing it up a little bit. And so basically what I'm doing is I'm trying to uh, take some of the convexity out of this. You see this curve that we have here. So I'm holding down Alt here to bring this closer towards me. So I have more of a surface here. So some of that convexity is now gone. I'm now getting a straight line. And because I brought that up, I can now push this other bit down. And then push this back up and push this down. So it's a bit of a push-pull is what we're going for here to try and get this to ultimately give us back to the result that we want. So we see we can actually get a really nice flat surface here. I'm holding down Alt to push this up. I'm not holding down Alt to push it down. And that gives us this flat surface. So it's a case of rinse and repeat for the rest of the model now. Um, you find some areas where you think, okay, well, I want to, I want to keep this flat. I'll start polishing around here and now I want a plane that's down here but I, I, I don't have enough detail so we want to have a lip basically that's coming around here so in that case just use your damn standard and um, so alt D and what we're going to do here is we're basically telling ZBrush okay this is where we're going to want our detail if we hold down alt on the damn standard it will do the opposite so a normal damn standard will cut in alt on the damn standard will protrude out sharpen up the detail. So we, we're basically giving it an area to say, well, this is where the top of our details are going to be. So now that we've defined that, if we hold down Alt H again to go back to our polish, if we polish this area, it's going to, to straighten it out, um, which is cool. But if we hold down Alt, we can actually get it to pull up towards that line and then polish it back down again. And we're going to get an even cleaner result again. So you can see as I polish over here, if this is concave in here, I'll hold down Alt. I'll bring it up because it tries to respect edges. It won't destroy too much of the outside. And I can do the same on the other side here. And if I'm not getting enough um, surface detail, I can do exactly what I did on the nose. Add in some extra volume here in order to be able to polish that down. Use my damn standard to say, actually, that's where you know, I'm exaggerating this giving it too much but it's basically letting it know that's the edge that I want to respect so when you're holding down alt or not holding down alt it will always look at that edge and say okay I appreciate that. that's that's what you're trying to keep and um, so as you see as I go through this holding down alt or not holding down alt it's basically sharpening up those edges for me Again, if we have too much detail down here, this is too high. I can either choose to, you know, uh, use a clay builder brush and knock it down, or I can just choose the H polish brush, find an angle that makes sense here. And in this instance, what I'm doing is I'm working on, on this area here. This is the area that I want to keep flat. I don't really care about this because I know I can get that back. So even though my brush might be affecting that, if you want to make this stroke, we get all this, this kind of stuff down here. I'm going to allow that to happen because my focus is on the plane that I'm sculpting on first. That's the bit that I want to get flat. Once I have that, I know I can bring this stuff back by just holding down Alt and letting it build up and it's going to respect that edge. So in that way, I'm building back up towards an edge that I, that I had. So, Rinse and repeat for the rest of the model. Just 
go through your model and actually build up the planes wherever you want them. Building up um, wherever you don't have enough enough detail and knocking them down where you do. Uh, or using a um, uh, dam standard. So for example, if we look at this area up here where we have quite a lot of detail here, we could use a dam standard brush for this where we're basically uh, doing something like this something like that we we'll not we we'll carve in below so I'm just a mixture between alt and uh, not only on alt once we have that that's enough detail for our H polish brush to now polish everything down to that level and you see we're getting that um, nice shape there when we want to bring the, the bottom up, we can hold down Alt because that's concave. We bring that up to where that surface is. If it goes too far, it doesn't matter. We can hold down Alt and bring this up. And now it's the push-pull of bringing stuff up or down depending on where you want it. So for example here, I'd like to fill this in. I'm holding down Alt to bring this up. I'm letting go of Alt because I want to sharpen this. I'd like to bring this up. This is too round for me. I could use a move brush to just kind of nudge it back and then just polish that. Or if I just have the polish brush active anyway, I can just let this polish back. Not worrying what's happening here, but more looking at what's happening on, on the plane I'm actually sculpting on, knowing that when I start push, pushing this up, it's going to start correcting that for me automatically. And that way we get those details. So hope these tips help and as usual feel free to subscribe um, if, you, if you find that they do.